Hey guys, 7 WB Rocks here. Before I get into the topic of today's video, uh, hold on. A lot of you wanted me to review this DVD, and I definitely will be. I'm probably going to review this, maybe even Black Coal Sun if you guys want to see that. And I think I'm definitely going to be reviewing Developmentally Speaking with Brian Myers. So if you want me to review those, let me know. The other two, I'm, I'm thinking definitely uh, Developmentally Speaking, but uh, I don't know about Black Coal Sun. Let me know if you do. But if I don't do it soon, it's because senior year is coming to an end and the teachers are just being total jerks and they are doing projects, essays, all the stuff at the end and uh, I'm going to have to focus on that solely. But uh, once summer hits and all that, I'm going to be doing reviews up the yin-yang so it's going to be uh, pretty fun. But let's get into the, to the topic of today's video. Global Force Wrestling was the big news. They had their big press conference at the Orleans Arena. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I'm not familiar with that arena. But it's in Las Vegas. And it was the big roster reveal. So that was big news. You know, Jarrett's always got something up his sleeve. He always has a big announcement. And I feel like it was very, very, very overhyped. Because this roster feels just like a low indie show. It just feels like a one-time, you know, indie show that does something like that. But let's get into it. They announced, I'm guessing this is this is who they were hoping to be, that big guest to draw in everybody. Chael Sonnen, he, yes, the UFC, uh, you know, fame fighter. Uh, he was uh, supposed to do commentary at one point with Jim Ross for an event, but I think that fell through or something happened. But uh, he'll be their expert analysis, but uh, the color commentator, or I think lead commentator. So I'm interested in that, but to... If they're the big guy to bring in everybody, I don't really know about Chael Sonnen, especially UFC guy. Nothing against UFC, but, you know, that just, TNA messed up by bringing in the UFC guys. Uh, but let's get down to the roster. Again, I just felt like there was nobody on this list that was that big guy, you know, like they had rumored Samoa Joe, they would rumored they were going to sign Roderick Strong, or maybe even AJ Styles, but really nobody on this show could be, you could put him up on the front of the poster and people are like, oh, he's at the show, I'm going. I feel like, I'm not I'm not saying taking anything away from these guys. These guys are really talented, but I just feel like there's not that big sensation. But let's get into the roster, enough talking. The uh, Two tag teams, the Bullet Clubs, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows will be a part. Uh, the Killer Elite, uh, Killer Elite Squad, Lance Hoyt and Davey Boy Smith Jr. will be there as well. So two tag teams right off the bat. PJ Black, formerly um, known as Justin Gabriel, Moose from Ring of Honor, Chris Masters, and uh, the two girls they had were Lady Tappa, and uh, I forget, I don't, I don't want to butcher her name, so I'm just going to say what she was known in TNA, Rosita. So they got two girls, eight guys. Sonata from TNA was on the was on the poster on the website, but he's not mentioned in the article, so I don't really know what that means, but he is on the poster, so I'm guessing Sonata's there as well. But their first taping will be July 24th. Uh, tickets start at like 30 bucks, which is kind of crazy, I think. But it should be uh, should be exciting, I guess. But I was very much disappointed, especially when Ring of Honor is announcing all this awesome stuff. PWG as well. But uh, Global Force Wrestling has been saying they have alliances with New Japan Pro Wrestling, AAA in Mexico, and other, other companies. So I'm excited to see what they bring, but I just felt like this was disappointing. But please, let me know what you think in the comments section. And uh, what you would do with this company and who would you be your picks to really start this company, get it off the ground. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 rocks And uh, enjoy TNA, not TNA, excuse me. Enjoy NXT and Lucha Underground tonight. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, have a nice day.